Hi viewers, welcome back to my intermediate greenhouse. This is where all the work's done when there's room to do it, I have to say. But what we're looking at today is something completely different. Um, we're looking at Sedira japonica and variations thereon. Um, This one, well, the first one, all of these now uh, come under the heading of um, Phalaenopsis. As some of you may know that they used to be Sedira, before it was Sedira, used to be Eredes. And Sedira is just Eredes backwards. But now, even though these are sold as Sedira's because all of them, all of these one, two, three, five, seven plants came from Korea. None of them came from um, the UK, and they came from the nursery where I get my, um, or up until now I've got my neophonaceous from. When we've done an order, a group order once a year. Um, the first one, the small one, which is. Phalaenopsis japonica, but my labels are still saying the same. This was a free one I got um, from back in 2018, I think, because I've had that quite a while. I've had that one since 2018, and the rest, one's 2000, 2018 and 2019, these come from. And um, this one has lost all of its bottom leaves. And I think we're now at a terminal stage because I think what's coming up there looks like a flower spike. I should be very happy if it is a new... Um, leaf but I don't know it seems to be the wrong colour anyway let's get back to it the um, Sedira japonicas were also called Nargaran which meant they were the orchid of Nargo it's an orchid that's native to Asia very very popular in Japan um, and now as I said it's widely accepted to be Phalaenopsis but to uh, There are cultivars of the species, um, Sedira japonica. Um, this is two, these two are the same. That's Sedira japonica variety Minmaru. So is that one there. Let's put those a bit further back actually. Up until which point I've not had flowers on them, but I've just found one of them has got a flower spike. This one is another cultivar, which is similar to the um, Mimaru, but this one is called Sage Yok Yokumaro. Sig Yokumaru, because it's a G, not. And as you can see, it's putting out its first spike. It is different to that, those two, but it's got, it's a giant one. I had one before, in 2018 I bought one, and it died, because I didn't know how to look after it. What I then got in 2019 were the Shima versions Two different ones. Actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. This one was 2019, the one in my left hand, which you can't see because it's all falling over on here. You stand up there where you like standing up. You stand there and don't fall over. You're going to, aren't you? That one 
was 2019 because I ordered that specifically with an order. This one I got 2018. Neither of the Shima versions have flowered yet. They didn't like being in pots, so they did nothing. Um, I decided to mount them. After I killed the first Seigyo Kumaru, I decided to mount them. I got a replacement for that one in 2019, and this one I got. And these two, and I mounted these two, um, because... I hadn't been able to grow them before. This one came in 2019, and this one came from another person in 2018. They've got loads of leaves on them, and they're doing really well. And they've they, the species the, they do vary in size from the standard Mimaru. And Sadira, as we know, can be treated like Phalaenopsis, but there is one subtle difference: you can't overwater them. They're highly susceptible to rot, hence I killed them, uh, which I didn't know at the time. Um, but in Japan, and like Korea, they grow everything in moss mounds, as they do for neos. But the moss stays wet for too long, although this one, for its first year, was in moss and I didn't kill that, which is a plus. That one, it just didn't grow, and I overwatered it. And if you are a chronic overwaterer, you do well to keep these ro these plants and grow them bare root or mounted or bare in a basket with um, maybe, um, what is it people are using these days? It's not clay, it's, um, I'll think of it in a minute. I'll think of it in a minute. But. Because the plants are from the southern part of Asia, they can be grown intermediate to warm. Mine uh, mounted all of the variations, the Sidera, uh, the Mimaru, the Shimas, and the um, Seigyukumaru. Oh, Seigyukumaru. I keep getting this wrong. It's S-E-I-G-K-U-M-A-R-U. S E I G U, yeah. And I mean, that was propagated in Korea. The Sei Yokumaru was proper, propagated in Korea. And it is said it is bigger, as you can see, than the two Minmarus. And it's really grown on this last year, in this last season. Um, they're all mounted on bark with a tiny bit of moss. And the roots are all doing really well. The the Shimas haven't got such long roots, but these are all growing off the pot, so they're doing. Um, but in the wild, this one grows on um, tree trunks, and they are native to Japan, which is again the Seigyo Kumaru. It'll be very nice to see if the flowers are near closer to or similar to those of the um, other ones, but they are epiphytic by nature, um, but they can grow to a maximum height of 40 centimetres, apparently. Mine's definitely had a spur in the past 12 months with a width of 10 centimetres. Stem is monopodial and short, and they don't grow a larger number of leaves either. Flowers are said to be scented and they are showy and you can have six to ten per spike. A mature plant will have six to eight leaves about six centimetres long and 2.5 centimetres wide. And the fragrant, the flowers in the spring are, are fragrant. Well, we're in winter at the moment, but um, never mind. They've been extensively cultivated to form the um, cultivars which are not easy to get hold of they all show slight differences but care and cultivation is the same in autumn requ water requirements go down but these you only water when they are dry even in their growing season even when they're growing and pushing out 
flowers you only water when they're dry they like bright to indirect sun and exposure to the full sun will actually result in scorching same as for others and it says that the ideal temperatures are 20 to 25 well mine apart from the summer never get that they go up to about 15 16 in the winter and that's their um maximum but They have a very poor resistance to the cold. I've not tried to grow them intermediate. They've grown on quite happily, and I think these will flower. The Minmaru's will flower this year. Um, this one is Sidera japonica, but it comes with a label, which is the Korean label, which is in English. Um, This one's a named version. It says Prince. So it's Sidera japonica Prince. And then underneath it says Hydrochylus asterisk Sidera. So it's telling you it's a Sidera. I don't quite know what the hydro Hygrochylus means. I've never looked it up, but that's Sidera japonica Prince, whereas this is just Sidera japonica. They like to confuse you. They need at least 70% humidity. And when they're growing, they like to be fertilised monthly. Again, they're the ones, it is said, that like high nitrogen in spring, to the middle of the summer, and high phosphorus for autumn. No fertiliser at all in the winter. Um, I don't over-fertilise mine. They do well on what they get. Um... I don't think I'm going to have that one for very long. But what we will wait and see is what the... Um, I know what his spies, flowers are like. He's flowered before. But this is what we want. We want the beautiful variegation. Uh, which is why I like the Shima. It's such lovely... Um, such lovely markings and colours, new leaf coming in there. There's no growing tips at the moment. They don't have growing tips as such like the um, Neofinetras do. But you can see by the ends of the roots that there's no active, no active activity there. Um, and this one has got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. That one's got ten um, leaves, and I mean you can see the roots; they come out everywhere. But I shall have to look after these very carefully. They do like the mealy bugs; like them as well. But we'll be on their case soon. So um, yeah, just I thought you'd like to see something different today. And it's just a quick one. I think this one, although they were bought at the same time. Ah, and look. Mimaru flower spike. So this one has got a flower spike. Um, they haven't got, no, they've still got quite a few leaves because all the, the roots come out everywhere. Um, that's got less. Older ones down there. But they're doing, and that one's got a new um, leaf coming. This one hasn't. So, where's the other one? Have you got a leaf coming yet? No, you haven't. This one, the Sierra Japonica Prince, has um, put on two other, three in fact, babies, because it lost that bottom leaf down there. And this has now only got two leaves. And it's putting that flower spike out of that tiny, tiny growth there. So, um, yeah, I love the, I just love the greeny yellow of the flowers. And I think that was, these are near a green, if I remember rightly from what they say, but something to watch. And if you do have some or manage to get hold of them, I think um, I looked at a video of um, the orchid garden and she was very unlucky with what she'd ordered and it had um, 
all come apart and I'm not even sure you'll be able to get them in this country now well it didn't come from this country they came from um, Korea and he sells them they're still on his website I don't know if the Shimas are but this is and these are and the Seigu Kamaru is um, but I don't know about the Mimaru Shimas he didn't sell any last year but I mean, we are planning on doing, I uh, was going to do an order this year, but um, we've got to go through with all the new things. And whereas before we had different things coming over, um, it'll only be one genus. Um, these will be classed as Phalaenopsis, therefore the Vandacious, which are the Neos, that'll be two genus. And if you order... Um, The dendrobium maniliforms as well. Are you looking at three different? You're looking at three different lots. So we won't order any of the different stuff this year to come over because it'll be too costly. That's if we do an order at all. Um, don't know. Don't know what's going to happen yet. It all depends what hoops we have to jump through to get them. Some people would say I've got more than enough um, neos, but that's the old idea of a collection, isn't it? You collect. Whereas these, I bought them for curiosity value and didn't appreciate anything about them until I learnt about them and learnt how to keep them. But then that's the way we learn how to do things. But this, I'm pretty damn sure that is a... Don't you break my flower spike. That is a flower spike coming out of the centre of that, so there is no more growth going to be on that plant, which is um, a shame. But I've still got another one, so. And I'm pretty sure you'd be able to get hold of the Sidera japonica, Phalaenopsis type in this country. I don't think you can get any of the rest of them. Um, so on that, I'm going to leave it there because I need to do some more filming. I want to do a quick bit of film on um, flower spikes for the uh, Sarcochylus while I'm in here. And I need to get these plants back to the warm greenhouse because we're in the cooler bit now and there's, the heat isn't on at the moment although the temperature is 13 but it's not warm enough for them and the snow's virtually gone we had snow we never have snow down here on the south coast ever well ever once in a blue moon it's years since we had snow but i actually walked the dogs in you could see footprints in snow but it was about just like a smattering where it, you could see on the grass that it had snowed and because it was so cold it had frozen but it's not proper snow you've got to sink in it when it's proper snow haven't you and uh, we didn't have any of that so we've been very very lucky in this part of the country for which i am eternally grateful i'm too old to go out in snow doesn't appeal to me now like it used to boys love it though they love to go and play in the snow they don't care how cold they get or how covered in wet and muck they get they just love it so that's the way it should be really wasn't it if you're a dog you should be happy but i'm going to hang this lot back up i'm going to say goodbye for now um not what you're used to but something different and nice to share with you especially as we've got flower spikes coming and i've not shown them to you before so thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye now mm -hmm.